Hey Lise, how are you today? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. What are we talking about today? Well, we're talking about my favourite topic, financial wellbeing. Definitely in your wheelhouse, Dan. Yes, love it. Definitely. <laughs> okay, tell us what is financial wellbeing and how do we define it? I love that. Um, first of all, financial wellbeing is simply defined in how we relate to money, whether that be good, bad or somewhere in the middle. How we define it at Tribeca, we talk about the key emotions, um, that security and freedom of choice. It's backed by a lot of research that talks to those key emotions that people feel when they've got a good relationship with money. Security in how we feel secure around our finances, what's coming in and what's going out, and do we have enough for any emergencies that come up? Mm -hmm. And also freedom of choice, the fun stuff in life leaves. Mm. Have we got enough to go out and have dinner at a restaurant or do we have enough saved in the bank so we can meet our long-term goals like buying the house or going away on holidays or retiring. We use a financial wellbeing matrix that breaks down the present and the future using those two key emotions of security and freedom of choice to score how one relates to money using a scale of one to 10. 10 being I've got it all together and one being I need help. Certainly a, a topic of discussion with a lot of our clients and a lot of our corporate partners that we work with in the financial wellbeing space. And Dan, can you tell us why financial wellbeing is so important yeah. to an individual and their family? Well, having a relationship with money or actually defining how we currently feel uh, about money is a really, really important step to improving our scores around financial wellbeing. I think if we look at wellbeing in general, our health and our wellbeing finances link quite closely to how our health is impacted a lot of the time. And so it really forms a really important rock that we carry around, also getting a baseline for just how things are currently um, in our lives with the changing economic climates, um, interest rates going up, things getting more expensive. Imagine you know going through a transition from being uh, someone who is living at home and all of a sudden you've got a mortgage. That's going to put some strain on someone's financial wellbeing score if you're not prepared. If you do have some preparations in place, you may have a better score than someone who has kind of buried their head in the sand and not thought about what the implications of now having a mortgage could mean. Imagine uh, that would apply to transitioning towards retirement. Very much so. Um, so no longer having a paycheck coming in and relying on the assets or investments that you've built up over your years. That's certainly one area that does also cause a little bit of discomfort, not just in the current, but also in the future and what means for someone's retirement plans long term. Can you give some examples of what are the sorts of things that we can recommend to clients or work with clients on if they are say scoring a one or a three and that we really want to move that needle to make them feel better about their financial well-being. Sadly there's no quick fix but the one thing that we can do is start the conversation. We use the four quadrants and the scores in those four quadrants to regularly check in on the improvement that happens but also to get a baseline of where things are currently at as well and we want to see that regular improvement so if you're not seeing that improvement we want to go back to the basics such as your budget, what your current mortgage interest rates might look like. Having a relationship with those numbers and actually understanding what they mean for us at this moment allows us to then make some effective change and plan for what that means to move from say a five or a six to a nine or a 10, or move from a one to a five even. You really wanna be really open and honest and that conversation is the starting point. So if anyone wants more information about financial wellbeing, they want a bit more detail, what should they do? Great question, Lise. Um, head to the Tribeca website uh, where you'll see all the resources around our financial wellbeing landing page. There was a financial wellbeing guide and there's also a spot there where you can book in a complimentary 15 minute discussion with either myself or some of the financial advisors here to start exploring your relationship with money today.